Nick Taku, good to see you guys. Thanks for dialing in all the way from the UK. Hey, good to see you, Jimmy. Hey. Yeah, well, man, talk about this song. You guys, you know, when you guys were really releasing new music from Gas Street, this is one of the first songs that we heard. And I think I heard the song and saw the video at the same time, which was incredible because it's such a compelling moment of worship uh, for the, the church. And uh, but Millie, maybe we'll start with you and talk about it just talk about the theme of the song like how you guys got together to write it what was inspiring you at the time sure yeah so we were actually um on a zoom songwriting session so we um yeah the the three of us initially just got together we were just um regularly writing in lockdown and um 
I think at some point uh, with uh, in the week, Taku had had like this spontaneous line, um, you keep on proving it. And we quite simply just wanted to write a song around that. Like, what does God keep on proving? You know, he's faithful, he's He's mighty, he's strong, he's powerful, he's He's able to save. And it's the same God that we worship now that, that you know, tore down the walls of Jericho, that led his people into the promised land that rose from the grave. So we kind of just wanted to write a song that says, what does God keep on proving it? And just pull in loads of like, areas of scripture um around that um but yeah it was it was such a fun song to write as well we had so much fun writing it didn't we and we kind of we after that songwriting session we took it um to a songwriting retreat um where another guy Alex um kind of started to get the production and write on it with us as well and we just developed it from there and it's just yeah it was such a fun song to write yeah wow what a great theme for the church to be able to sing about Talk about, I think about just, you know, when I hear songs like this, I think about just all, like you said, the stories of, of God through scripture. And it's just such an encouragement that, you know, no matter what we're walking through or what we're, we're walking up against, that we just look back a little bit in history, in scripture, but also just in our lives. And we see this faithfulness of God that's woven in, you know, through our lives. And it just gives us faith uh, to approach whatever that we need to um, in the day. Yeah, it's um I think um the bit that I come in on verse two talks about that um like you do it again when I step out on the water, like you know, our God is mighty to save, like he's still faithful, like he's still acting and moving in present day. And it's um I think it was a real song for our church and our community in terms of just everything that was happening, the mayhem of like COVID. Um it was so it's such a stressful time for a lot of different people for a lot of different reasons. And, you know, you can't encapsulate everybody's story into like one song, but you can kind of have an anthem where we can sing and believe as a church. And I think that's the heart um, of why we write our songs, especially at Gas Street. It's for our church, it's for our congregation and the people um, we're serving. And this song is, is a weapon, is the weapon that we were using, that we we're taking to battle. And it was great that we could have it you know, put like after church, listening to it, like journeying with it um, throughout the week and using it in our prayer time. So, I mean, we serve a God who's faithful and we believe it. So we might as well be singing it. Man, that's Teku, preach, man. Come on. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I know you, I know you all have been singing it a lot in church. Nick, like what, what do you sense that like God's doing in the room? Like what's, how's he using this song at Gas Street? Well, it's 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 definitely a song that releases freedom, um, just with the musical side of it, and also just it's a real faith builder. You know, when you remember the promises of God and who He is, um, I think one of the elements of it as well that I love amongst all of that is just the fact that right in the middle, as well, we sing scripture out. You know, Proverbs three five. You think about trust. You know, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. And I think. There's something about the way that scripture sits right in the middle and you sing it out and it just reminds you, actually, whatever I'm going through, this is the truth right now. You know, mm-hmm. don't trust in anything else other than the fact that God has remained faithful throughout the mm-hmm. ages. And that's been really key. And I think we're seeing that seven years in on our journey as a church, being able to look back with a seven year history and mm-hmm. go, wow, God, you've done incredible things. And it's just stirring faith in our hearts. Wow, man, that's so good. Well, thank you guys so much for jumping on, talking about the song. It's amazing that churches are going to be able to sing this. And we're so excited to partner with Gas Street and just getting this song out to churches all over the world. So thank you guys for jumping on and send our best to the queen there. (laughs) (laughs) We will, we will. (laughs) 